Okay, I'm going to try this. I tried it on my work computer, but I didn't have any sound for whatever reason. So I'm trying it on my laptop. And I don't know why it takes forever to log in, but it does. Okay, so this is what the app looks like. Um, there is a section in um, for your new artists, by the way. Where is it? Um, I don't think that's it. There is a section in here called Learn. And um, that's where, uh, now I'm trying to figure out how to get there. I know I can find it on the app. Um, anyway, there's a section on there called learn and it will, um, it's a great place to send your new artists to because it walks through basics from the business. So um, I've been sending my new people there. But let's talk about drip campaigns really quickly. I'm going to go to media. And again, I'm on the laptop, so I'm not in my um, phone app. There's several things in here. Um, there's an email script. So I have a couple email scripts. One is like a check-in. So if I've had a, a customer that hasn't purchased for several months, um, then I might send them this checking in email script and it's all made out for me. I don't have to retype it. So there's that. Um, the drip campaigns. Well, let me just show you this. Um, so here's a checking in, and usually it's easier if you go to the customer's site, but um, for whatever reason on the website, it's hard to get your contacts to load. I don't know why. So um, I prefer to do it from the phone. So I do it that way, but there is another way as well. So if I wanted to send, so I clicked on the one click email and if I wanted to send this to myself, I think I'm in here somewhere. There I am. Um, so I have my email script already made out. I have myself selected and you can see here that I'm gonna be the receiver. And then down here you can choose which email script or you can type out your own email. So um, I'm going to click on this drop down. And so I have a few here. So if I'm going to do a checking in, here's my email for that. And then you can send it off. So that's how you do that one. Um, and then the drip campaigns. So Saint has a couple already there for you. So they have these, now on my screen anyway, it's these first four. So campaign one is for first time customers, campaign two, repeat customers. And then they do have a couple for changing colors. So if you wanna send out an email or a drip for your um, ladies to change their colors for the summer, there's one for that. So I created my own. So mine are down here, but um, just let's just hop into the ones they've already created. So I'm going to click on this campaign one and you should have these on your page too. So campaign one and campaign two should be there. And so this is for a first time customer. There is a picture here. You could change that out if you wanted to. I'm going to scroll down and here are all the drip items within that one campaign. So you can click on each one of these and it will um, show you what that is going to look like. Um, now, most of them have this in the brackets. It says contact first name. I have not been able to figure out how to actually get the customer's first name in there. I sent this to myself and it said, hi, contact first name. So I haven't figured that out yet. So I just removed the brackets on mine and put high beautiful, high gorgeous, whatever. So I don't have to worry about the name. 
Um, have not figured that out yet, but if I do, I will let you know. And then this is what they send. This is just the basic one that they have already created, but you could add to this one. You could edit this and just completely take that out and put your own in there. Um, you can add links. So if you wanted to add your Facebook group or your website or your color match form or anything like that, you could add a link and add that in there. So that's really nice. And then um, let me scroll back up here and close this out. So there's four drip items within this particular drip campaign and you can see that it will it's scheduled out so the first one will send as soon as you send it off six or 15 days later the next one will go 14 days after that it will go and then 30 days it will go and i think you can change these out and you might not be able to with the preset ones so um i ended up creating my own and if you want to create your own, you can just go to add drip. You would title it. Um, you can put tags in there to find it easy if you want to. <clears throat> and then you're going to add your drip items. So it uh, depends on what you're doing. If you're going to do a repeat customer, you may just need a thanks for your order, um, your order is shipped, or how do you like your new makeup? And then uh, maybe three months from now, you would do a um, time for a new product or something like that. So you might only need three. For new customers, you might need a little more because you want to teach them as, as they go. Um, but you can just add an item. Add an item. There we go. Here's the subject. You choose how many days. You do your uh, what you want it to say, and then you click Add. Um, this ad media is kind of funny. It It's hit or miss for me if it works. So sometimes I, I will see that um, it added. And you can't actually see the picture in the drip, though. It says it'll say link or something like that, but it doesn't actually say that it's sent. So I always practice on myself before I make them live because that way I can tweak them if I need to. Okay. So that's how you add a new one. Um, I hope that helps. Let me just see if I can get this contacts to work. Um, I've tried it on my work computer and my um, personal computer and I can't, it doesn't like to load my contacts. So I, I don't know if it's a glitch or what. It used to, but it hasn't been lately. And I think it's not going to work. So anyway, I will end it there. If you have more questions, reach out and I will try to help if I can. Thank you.